It's going to be a wide open year. He so has come from nowhere inside. before. Remember when he ran for governor? We Wouldn't be the first time, was, would it? So. Speaking of coming out of nowhere, Diane, uh -huh. you remember this movie. Well, you may have seen reruns of it, of White Christmas, yeah, right? You bet. Yeah. Now, here's the thing a lot of people think. They, they remember, obviously, a lot of the big stars in this movie. And uh -huh. nobody confuses and thinks Danny Kaye was mm -hmm. a big star in this movie. Well, no, not so much. And we're taking <laughs> a trip him. down. He, but that's our guy. he look spiffy in he that looks black good, tie? By the way. And I love that. I love that hat. That top I, hat? I, I still have Forget that. the top hat, Dick. <laughs> Check out your hair. I mean, you kidding <laughs> well, me? Fetish. Back in the days when you went red? That was solid right was there. The reason we red. bring up memory lane, of course, is because we don't have any weather going on. So we take a look back one year ago today. Uh -huh. And what was going on in New Mexico? We had wind gusts 30 to 45 miles an hour, gusting to 65. We had blizzard warnings in west central sections of the state. We had a ton of snow falling over the northern mountains and some snow across eastern sections of the state, along with very gusty winds. That was a year ago. It's not today. It hasn't been at a single juncture this fall, weather like this across the area here. And the reason why, well, La Nina and what a difference a year makes. Remember, a year ago, we had the storm track down here. The subtropical jet stream helped bring in rather moisture across the area. It helped to bring in storms. And that was, of course, 2009. Now, forget the subtropical jet stream. It's not hanging out here. It's gonzo for us for now. So essentially, the Pacific jet running to the north, taking all the storms with it. Warm and dry conditions down here across New Mexico. And this ugly scenario for us means very dry conditions will continue, not only so far this fall, but probably for at least the next couple of weeks as well. No real reason to believe that's going to change anytime soon. 46 in the metro area, winds are calm for us. 30s and 40s for the most part across the north, down to the south, 30s and 40s as well. Looking at satellite and radar, we do have a weather disturbance that's going to come through Colorado and skirt through northern New Mexico late tonight and into tomorrow morning. It will spread a couple snow showers across the north, but it's not going to be a real help to us in any sort of significant way. We're maybe seeing an inch or two at best over the Sangre de Cristo from this, and that's about it. Then we go to high pressure back in across the southwest. That's going to be mostly sunny skies for us, and temperatures are going to start to warm. It was a cool day across eastern New Mexico today, 40s and 50s for us, but by the the end of the work week, take a look at these highs. Roswell in the 70s, 60s, Tucumcari, and 50s, high 50s around Raton and Albuquerque. So we are still looking at very warm conditions across the east throughout the rest of the work week. 40s and 50s across the four corners for tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, northwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Your Durango and Farmington extended forecasts. Plenty of sunshine over the next few days, and temperatures will continue to moderate as we head toward the end of the work week. South and west, temperatures here, 60s and 60s. 70s. North winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Over to the south and east, temperatures here 60s and 70s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. Your Roswell extended forecast. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures cooling a bit for Wednesday, but back up they go again Thursday into Friday. North and east, a few snow showers will be possible, especially rather, excuse me, along the eastern slopes of the Sangre de Cristo late, late tonight and into tomorrow morning. But we're not anticipating any sort of significant accumulations across the northeast. Same deal, of course, across the northern mountains as well. A few snow showers possible late tonight and early tomorrow morning. And then the skies will clear out. Santa Fe extended forecast. Plenty of sunshine here as well. Over into the east mountains, plenty of sunshine around places like Sandia Park and Cedar Crest. Plenty of wind out in Moriarty and Estancia. Gusts up to 40 miles an hour in the metro area. 57 in the valley, 56 in the heights, and 54 in the foothills. Northwest winds 10 to 20 miles an hour. Your seven-day forecast for the metro, lots of sunshine for us as well, topping out in the high 50s Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You know, this is the kind of weather New Mexicans used to brag about. Say, yeah. This is what makes us yep. great in the winter. Every once in a while, we just need a storm. Doesn't need to be every week, but boy, once, once a month a would be That's nice. a good point. Yeah. All right, we've got sports coming up next.